It's the middle of February 2010, almost five years since the first Lazarus meeting in Mike Archer's office in Sydney. Andrew and Jitong move straight into the now familiar processes. But this year, from the very start, there are problems. No matter what they try, nothing seems to work. Also, it seems that there may be a problem with the eggs that are being laid this year. Some of the control eggs fertilised by IVF develop normally, even to quite normal tadpoles hatching. The other controls, which have had sperm injected into them, a process known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or more simply ICSI, have not developed well. In fact, it seems that the team have created monsters, embryonic development showing tadpoles with two tails, tadpoles with holes in them. And those injected with Lazarus DNA, while they have cleaved, have not developed beyond very early cleavage. Again, they have to call a halt. And for the next few seasons, Andrew and the team keep returning to Newcastle. We're very close, but I think if you can look at what we're doing and make any suggestions about how we might be able to improve it. One year, Robert Lanza even sends his right-hand man, Mr. Yanggi Chung, to assist. But all to no avail. Andrew is concerned about the failures and is starting to believe that there must be some problem with the chemical protocols the team are using. At the very beginning, we had a problem with the jelly being very, very sticky uh, in terms of being able to manipulate them. It was rectified by, uh, by one, by changing the, the media that we used to get rid of the jelly, and two, probably the time that the, the eggs had hardened up a little bit and so the jelly comes off a lot easier. In my mind, there was something toxic enough in the system yeah. that said um, it, it had a detrimental effect on the development. Andrew does not want to waste any more Lazarus tissue. Stocks are getting low. He calls a halt and decides that he must go back to the very start. He must rethink the protocols for the entire SCNT process. It's back to the drawing board. The good news is that in the last four years, we are now fairly certain that we have the DNA of Lazarus alive and brought back. What do we do? Mm. We've got differentiated cells starting to form embryos, so Lazarus is, is, is alive and well. Um, we haven't got tadpoles, but that's the next step. So this is exciting times. Mm.